I'm in Boston, a city that was instrumental in putting the United States on the map, and it's maps that I'd like to talk about today. Let's take a look. PowerPoint maps are great tools to tell visual stories, showing locations around the world and how they might all connect together. Global route maps for travel or logistics and different options, or really anything in the universe that you can show on some kind of map. What's really neat is that PowerPoint 365 has maps built in, but as with many things Microsoft, they're really tricky to find. Head on over to the Insert tab on the ribbon and then Charts on the left of centre. Halfway down the list, buried in the bars, lines and radar charts, you find PowerPoint maps. OK, let's try that out. Hmm, snow. Hang on. Here in Florida, where it's warm and green, you should be able to see things a bit more clearly. You get a map placeholder and an Excel sheet. Things get interesting here because you can type places into the Excel, like Massachusetts and Florida, for instance, put a value next to them, and then PowerPoint generates a US map highlighting those two states with a color heat map based on the numbers you put in the Excel. You can add any state or even specific zip codes and you'll highlight the areas on the PowerPoint map. Florida is a destination that people come to from around the world. So let's expand the map out. This is Liverpool, a major port on the world scene for hundreds of years. Let's see what happens to the map now. If you type countries into the map, it expands, showing the appropriate geographical area, which might just focus on a region or show the entire world map. And once you have the whole world visible, it's easy to add any country you like. I'm in Malaysia, for example, so let's add that. Type Malaysia into the Excel, add a number to the data series, and you'll see it highlighted on the world map, all using the standard PowerPoint Maps function. Another neat trick is, say you need to highlight a country that you've never heard of before or you don't know where it is. I'm in Laos, for instance. Well, it's simple, just type it in. Add Lao and a number, and you see where it is. It's so simple. Once you have your map laid out, you have a couple of additional options, all of which are what you'd expect from a chart. You can click on the brush icon on the right of the chart to change the style, which is useful if you want to show the outlines of each state or country. You can also alter the color of the map, all of which is based on your color theme. As the map only has a single data series, choosing any of the colorful themes is somewhat pointless. And if you'd like to alter the colour of the country highlights, then choose a monochromatic colour theme for the map. You can alter the general map colour, everything that you've not selected as a highlight country, by using the fill colour options. If you just select the map on the outside of the frame, changing the fill colour will fill in the background, or perhaps more easily to understand, the ocean. If you click on the map itself, you'll see the double selection box, showing that you've highlighted the actual map part within the chart. Now, changing the fill colour will alter the map or land. That means you can choose something more pleasing or help bring out the contrast of the heat map countries better. Click on the green plus icon on the right of the PowerPoint map and you can alter the chart elements. The options for the title and legend are fairly straightforward, but data labels can be interesting. The default data label is the number that you've used. But if you choose more data label options, you can choose the formatting of the number or add in the category name, which in this case is going to be the country or state that you've highlighted. So it's a nice way to get an annotated map. Finally, you can alter the chart options by right clicking on the PowerPoint map and choosing Format Data Series from the pop-up menu. This brings up options for what type of map you get. PowerPoint tries to be smart about what it shows but you can purposely set a Mercator style to stretch everything out flat, a Miller map, which is a decent compromise between stretched poles and something flat, and a Robinson map, which is probably the most common map type you see. You can also choose the map area with different options depending upon the content of your Excel table. You can choose to show the map at the postal code level, state level, country level, the local regional level, or the entire world map. You can also just focus on the regions with data, but be careful that you don't end up with odd-looking floating countries with no context. Next on the list, you have more controls over the series color, with either the standard sequential system with two colors or a divergent three-color system. 
With either, you can set what those colours are and also specify particular values for them if you'd like a non-linear scale. But wait! What if you don't have Office 365 and can't access these maps? Never fear, intrepid explorers, the world can still be your mollusk. You just have to ask nicely. You're going to have to make do with non-live maps. That is, they're not Excel linked. But you can get editable PowerPoint maps with individual countries or US states. And you can download free PowerPoint World, PowerPoint Country and PowerPoint US state maps from the Bright Carbon website. Each thing is just a standard PowerPoint shape, so you can format it however you like. And you can see the country names in the selection pane, which is on the home tab on the ribbon, then arrange on the right hand side and down at the bottom of the list. Now you've got a PowerPoint map, what do you do with it? Here's one technique which shows how a little layering and animation can go a long way. Get one blank map, then copy the map, line the two on top of each other using the alignment tools, which you can find in the home tab on the ribbon, and then the arrange group of functions on the right and under align at the bottom. Select the top map and change the highlighting, choosing whatever countries you want to stand out. By right clicking on the live PowerPoint map, choosing edit data and altering the numbers in the Excel. Now add a simple entrance animation to the top map by going to the animation tab on the ribbon, select add animation on the right and choose your animation. Fade is good. In show mode you first see the entire world map and then click to bring in the top layer with the selections, drawing attention to the highlighted countries. Go back, add in a third map with other countries highlighted or different values in the Excel for a new heat map, add in another entrance animation and you can now start to build up a picture of things changing over time. Remember, you don't have to use this technique with just a world map. You can use the regional maps, such as the editable US map, to show all the states and highlight specific ones, perhaps showing your road trip adventures or the places that you have locations to serve clients. So there you are, a global tour using PowerPoint maps, and it's a great way to include maps in your presentation. Although I'm told you don't actually have to visit the countries in order to make it work. So why not give it a go now, wherever you are?